Hi everyone, I'm coming on to share my scrimpy haul. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm a bit blocked up. Um, I'm chewing on menthol chewing gum, trying to clear myself a wee bit. Um, this is a two week haul, so there is a lot of stuff, okay? Now, I had thank you gifts. I had two wee tags. That Amanda sends out with all her orders. And I had five. Yeah. Five in each wee pack of these little bows that can be put on stick pins. Wait a minute, I think I can sharpen this bit up a bit so when I'm showing it close up, at least it's clear. Come on. There you go. You can see the wee hole at the top there. So they go on stick pins, lovely. And you can put them back to back if you really wanted to. So I had ten of those. So that was two weeks, five each week as a thank you gift. I'm just going to put them in a wee baggie out the way just now. Because I've got a habit of losing things by the time I get through. Right, so that one's done. Right. Then I've got ribbons. Now I've got this gorgeous butterfly canvas ribbon. And it is so pretty. It's on a natural canvas. And then it's like the butterflies on it. You can colour these butterflies with your gel pens, your alcohol markers, as long as you're careful. Because it will bleed because of the type of material it is. But if you're using a very fine tip and light, light pressure, it will colour fine. So they're great fun to work with. So we've got that. I've got the same raw canvas with the tape measure on it and again this is a fantastic you can recolour these and do all sorts I've then got this gorgeous double faced satin and teal colour so like a turquoise really really pretty and it's just fabulous really really good quality and it's it feels so soft it is just perfect Max can you please get out from under my feet please go on into your bed hurry up go bed on you go bed good boy just being a pest to do. There we go. Then we've got this um, ribbon. Now these are advertised as budget ribbon, okay? They are single faced, so it's only one side that's satin, the other side is just the material. Um, it's like satin on the top and matte on the back. I have got the white, pink and blue and these are fantastic for ribbon roses, absolutely wonderful. So I got 3 metres of each, I think, they're, they're great, just fantastic as a, a filler. So we've got that, then we've got some beaded trim. I got the iridescent light blue colour. Um, there you go. And it sparkles beautifully. I then got the the rose colour, and again it sparkles absolutely gorgeous. And these are just acrylic; they're not expensive. But if you're adding dangles onto projects, 
they just add that wee extra bit of glimmer without costing you the earth because if we're all adding rhinestones and things it, the prices add up um, and then I got the teal colour which again is just fabulous so I think I got I can't remember got a fair amount <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry, I'm really, really groggy. Ugh. I think that's my other half up here as well. Um, I've then got this gorgeous iridescent chandelier trim that has got a faceted cut on it, so it really, really sparkles. And it's just absolutely beautiful. You can see the sparkle of it. Absolutely stunning. Then we have got these flower heads. Sorry about the rattling, I did try and keep it to a minimum. Um, and they're lilac um, daisy heads. like that um they are material with a plastic backing on them but on projects they look fantastic and again you can recolor these they are material so they will color fine being lilac any color will take to them so feel free to color away i'm filming and i'll speak to you in a wee minute Okay. Um, I got 3D crystal lacquer. It is. It's the same idea as your glossy accents. Um, dries clear with a three-dimensional finish. Can be applied in layers for a raised effect. Use on any material. I haven't tried this before, but I have used Ipex stuff before. That's the manufacturer of it. And they are a reputable company. So I, I am absolutely sure it will be a good product. Absolutely sure of it. Then I've got some Marabou feathers. I have got one in a purple colour. And then I've got one in a lilac colour. They are a slight differentiation. One is more a... That is more of a pinky purple, and that's a true purple. So we've got them. Move them out the road. Then this is a new product that Amanda has got in. And it's ostrich feathers, and I'm going to open them up so you can see them. Oops, there they that fell off there. There we go, I'll put that up the other now. But we have got the white and they're just gorgeous. They are just like feeling air. Can't wait to use them. So I've got two white and two gold. And the gold will look beautiful on a vintage piece because it has got that aged look on it when you I mean that actually looks quite green on screen for some reason but when you're brushing through it it actually looks two-toned they are just stunning well done Amanda they are honestly they're just beautiful can't wait to use them and I actually got more the following week these are larger ones but they are the same product so I'm actually just going to add them into this one with them and put them together Oops. so at least I know where they are when I want them
beautifully. Right, so that's the feathers out the way. Oops, we middle bit there. Then I had got she got some beautiful seam binding in. She got some powder blue. She got some dusty rose. She got the lilac. And she got the I think it was cream or ivory. I'm not sure. But I got them and I got quite a lot of them because I absolutely adore them. Um move that over there and put this in there out the road. I then got the chiffon box trim and I've had this before it is just absolutely spectacular absolutely love this material um, it just adds so much softness to any project it was one of those ones when I first saw it I thought it's a bit through through for me but in all reality when it's on a project it actually isn't that um so i've got that in the ivory and i've got it in the pink and it's not a in your face pink i would almost see it's a soft rose color it is such a soft pink it's not a it's very hard to explain it's not a a girly pink that's the best way i can explain it so i got a good lot of that because i do go through quite a lot of it i then got some ribbon roses i got them in teal and i also got them in the lilac so I've got a good supply of them because they do come in handy. I got this gorgeous trim. Now look at the tassels on that. And this could easily be used as an applique. Absolutely simply. No problem whatsoever. You could even cut out this bottom part and just use the top part as a lace and then use your trim your tassels on something else as separate projects absolutely so I got I think it was two meters of that I got can't remember but it's just phenomenal and I can't wait to use it I got the leaf trim sorry I had a pen in my mouth and it's that design there this can easily be snipped off there and use your trim around the box or whatever and use these on projects under your flower arrangements to give you your leaves it just adds a wee softness to it. So that's that trim. Then we have got the blue organza and lace box trim. And this is absolutely spectacular for lids of boxes. Um, going around your wall hangings it will add a lot of detail and especially if you're trying to add a tiny wee bit of colour this helps to make the project so that was why I've started to try and put bits of colour into my projects I got the pink crochet trim this can be added to just about anything I like using these in my fabric books my needle books because you can add your pins and your needles into them without leaving marks in your laces or your material so that's why I like this because with the amount of holes in it 
you don't notice pin marks in it. So that's a great idea for anyone who's interested in needlebooks. I got this dainty flower trim, which I really, really like. Um, and I'll actually show you in two seconds. I've actually just done a, finished a project where I used it. It's so pretty. And I do love using it. And I'll just show you the project. I've just finished. I've not even filmed it yet. Um, I have put some photos up today on Facebook. Because I had only just got round to doing it. Oh. I'm filming Ian. That what? Oh, man. But you'll see there on this project, I have went round the inside here with that trim. This is actually an altered hoop. And this is the back side of my hoop. And I've went round the whole way with that trim. So it's, it is a very, very handy trim to use. Place that there than now. I've then got the beige flower trim and the pink flower trim. Again, these can be snipped out and used individually as a pleaks. Absolutely. They really do make a project when you're snipping your wee bits of lace out. Um, especially if you're making like little um, embellishments and things. That like type of thing really helps. I've then got the white Nottingham. It just, it's your staple. Um, any flower making or anything that I do, I do like to have a gathered trim. It just helps to add to it. These colour absolutely perfectly um, and you don't need to do much to it. You can use your spray inks, you can use your alcohol markers. It would take you a wee bit of time but if it's only for a, a tag or whatever, feel free to use your alcohol markers to just dab along and get it coloured. I then have got these heart shaped blings which are absolutely stunning and the cut on them is just something else. They are absolutely gorgeous and is that it? I think we might be done. Wow, that was quicker than I thought. I must have skipped through that. Is that a person? Yep, that's a person. Wow, that was good. So, it was all from Scrimpy's Lace Closet. If you are interested in any of these products, and these are staples that Amanda gets regularly. She does change them about, it's maybe every two, three months that they'll reappear, but she does get them back in stock. And if you ask her specifically, she will go out her way to try and get you them. I will leave Amanda's Facebook link in the description bar. If you are interested in joining, Scrimpy's Lace Closet to take part in the sales. Add Amanda as a friend and private message her stating that you would like to be a member and she will accept you. She only accepts members who are on her friends list and it's just so that she can get in touch when she is billing you etc. It is just so much easier. And we have got such a lovely community. Um, there is a lot of different range of crafters from very, very beginners um, right up to our advanced. We, throughout the month of May, 
have been running a wee competition challenge on the community page. It's just a gallery page where we all post my projects, etc. And this month we have been asking to post projects with lace and a butterfly. That was the two specifications and they had to be a new project. It couldn't be something that you done last month or two months ago. After that, they have been going into a separate album with an entry number and they were picked at random for a lace kit prize. It is just a nice way to thank the members for participating and giving each other inspiration. There is no issue with new members. They are welcomed with open arms and they all comment on how well they feel um, at home and comfortable, which is really important to Scrimpies. So, I'm going to stop babbling now, but I will leave all the links in the description bar and I hope that you come along and join us. So, thanks once again for watching and I will speak to you all soon. Bye for now. Try again.